This video is about the eutrophication process, which happens when there is an excess of nutrients in water bodies and is considered an environmental problem that affects many areas of the world. Eutrophication is defined as the overenrichment of waters by nutrients and is responsible for the degradation of many ecosystems. The occurrence of algal blooms and oxygen depletion, which are harmful to aquatic life, are characteristics of the eutrophication process. The increase in the amount of nutrients, such as nitrate and phosphate, in the aquatic environment can cause eutrophication. During this process, there will be an excessive emergence of organisms such as algae and cyanobacteria. The water body acquires a cloudy color, making photosynthesis difficult and causing a decrease in oxygen content, and also the death of several species. Eutrophication occurs in some stages. Increased nutrient availability. Exaggerated increase in the number of microscopic algae and cyanobacteria, with the formation of a layer that prevents the exchange of gases with the atmosphere and reduces the passage of light. The death of rooted plants and also of algae below the surface, due to the impediment of the passage of light and the performance of photosynthesis, with a reduction of dissolved oxygen and available food. Increased availability of nutrients to aerobic decomposers, due to the death of algae and plants. Oxygen reduction due to aerobic decomposition, causing the death of animals and plants. Anaerobic decomposition, without the use of oxygen, that triggers the release of gases that cause a strong odor. Eutrophication can originate low oxygen, or hypoxic, areas. It can occur in oceans and lakes. Few organisms can survive in hypoxic conditions, so these areas are considered dead zones. The cause of this excess of nutrients in the waters are human activities, and the dead zones are often located close to inhabited areas. The main causes of eutrophication are rapid population growth, intensive agriculture, and industrial activities, which emit large amounts of nitrogen and phosphorus. The emission of nitrogen by human activities was almost twice as much as natural emissions and the emissions of phosphorus were almost three times greater than the natural ones. To avoid or minimize the eutrophication process, wastewater treatment must be carried out, reducing the contaminants being released into lakes, rivers, and seas. If you liked the video, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe.